Hi, uh, this is Raymond from Tesla Offer. Um, today we will show you how to install the SR Plus audio upgrade uh, harness. Uh, we did some revision to the wire. So now if you are a left hand drive car, uh, all you need to do is all the connection is on the, on the, on the passenger side. Yeah, so, uh, so let's try to get started. So I think the only tool that you need maybe is a flathead screwdriver but uh, we're not sure but yeah we'll try to walk through, through the process. So the first thing is go to your passenger side. Uh, if you are, uh, have a, a right wheel drive car uh, then it's on the left side. If you uh, have the left hand drive car it's on the right side. So the passenger side always uh, behind the glove box. So let's try to remove these two pieces first. So to remove the top cover, it's just pull pull it out. Yeah, just sneak your uh, yeah, slip your finger inside and then pull it out. Yeah, and then you can see a push pin here. So we can pry it out, and then yeah, and then we can just take out cover. It's very easy to remove actually. Yeah. So set this aside, and then we will need to remove the bottom part so it's always just push pin in the in the passenger side so so just pull out this kind of push pin it's easy just there's a channel here you can use your fingernail or use a flathead screwdriver to pry it out oh yeah pry it down and then you can remove it yeah so you can see uh, uh, behind the growth box this is the computer so try to look at the bottom right side you can see this white connector that is the speaker signal wire so you unplug this plug first and then after you unplug it uh, here here is the wire pair we will connect into it yeah so we will have all the signal wire that we have and then feed it out here is the plug we just press it and pull out. The space is a little bit tight, so we we'll remove this cover as well. Uh, because you need to remove this cover anyway uh, later. So, uh, so now plug into our wire. Okay, and then plug this back into the ICE computer. So uh, on the left hand drive car to install, you just need to do everything in this side. So just remove this cover and then uh, pry out this push pin I'll just use my fingernail yeah so pry it out and then we can remove this big piece so as we said uh, this connector is to the to the ice computer uh, for the right hand drive car, we already show you the, the computer is on always on the passenger side. So in a left hand drive car, it's on the right side. So you just try to locate the the, the lower uh, rightmost connector, unplug it and plug in this bypass. So uh, you already uh, see the video uh, on, the, on the right hand drive car. So it's the same, just plug it in, it's behind this, this, uh, this this piece uh, after you take out it will be here after you connect that this one is for the right treater so you can just find out the connection should be here so it's here there is a plug that we just plug into here you see yeah just plug it in and this part is done so the next thing is this big connector. Uh, we just run the wire along the floor with the uh, factory harness. So then we need to uh, remove this push pin as well. So I don't have a flathead screwdriver, so I will just use my fingernail. So you pull it out, you, or you can remove the whole piece. Uh, so just pull this out. And then in here you can see there are three connector um, this is the one to remove the blue one so we will just try to sneak our finger in and then wiggle it a little bit to remove the plug 
So if you are familiar with our our uh, Mark 2.5 tailgate, it's the same plug that you in the back. Yeah. So we unplug this. So we just plug in uh, the, the, the female part here. Make sure it clicks, and then we just plug this back in. So after that, this is the last part to, to run, is run to the C pillar. So we just continue to run along the floor here to the back. Some note to uh, when you try to put this piece back, there, uh, there are some caution. This, uh, this fasteners is always stick to, the, uh, to here. So you just use some plier to pry back out and then set it back to to here and then you can just align align this this two hole this is the most critical one just try to make sure it goes back to the hole and then you can just push it back in after you remove and reset that fastener so now let's go to the seat pillar side uh, let's go to this here we continue to run the wire so here is how you run the wire I run along this floor uh, behind the trim so like this tuck inside so here is the trick here on, on this side so I use my finger to, to raise up this I don't need to remove it completely and then I go here go here and then just put it like this then I can continue to run my wire up and then I need to remove this piece. So for this car, uh, it's easy to remove. Uh, your some part is broken. But the trick to remove this is try to start from the bottom first. So try to release, there's a tap there. So just try to push up to release it. And then you can pull, pull out straight. Uh, you can see this is the two thing I release, try to release first. And then I pull out from, from this little cap here so this is the connector you should see after you uh, remove the, the the thing so now you check uh, if there's only two wires that means your uh, car is lacking the rear two speaker um, and this uh, wire harness uh, will not activate until you add back the two speakers so but we have a solution for that so so if you have two only then you you are the late later build that don't have the speaker so now we can connect this to our plug here yeah so I'll, and plug the other side here first uh, and then plug this in here so then now and then just try to set everything uh, back in place so that's basically it okay so to uh, install the rear speaker uh, we need to remove some uh, some components so this is the first thing this cushion thing so uh, the trick I do to remove this one, I try to assess from below first. Uh, just try to loosen it up. Yeah, you hear a click and then you just pull it up. Just pull outward, yeah. Yeah. So that's basically how to do it. So both, do it on both sides. put it aside first yeah then we need to remove uh, this piece this piece this piece and then we can take out this piece so let's just try to do it this way so for this one just just use your hand to pull out just it's just hold by two clips uh, but uh, you need to remove this first sorry yeah so I just put it out and this will fall out so two clips here so after you remove this, it's just put out, but be, be careful here, there's an uh, antenna here. If you break this, you will need to have the whole glass replaced. So, so uh, normally you won't, won't be touching this one, but just be careful here. So after you remove this one, this one can be slide out. You just pull out from here and then you can take it out. So I will just take out 
like this. I will put it here. So the same for the other side. I put pull out this piece first. And then I pull out this piece. And then after that, I just continue to remove things. The clip over there. And then I can remove this piece together. So here on this side, there is also an antenna. Here. So be careful because we will we'll be uh, unplugging wire from this side. So uh, let's talk about both sides. After you remove this this two piece, you need to unplug this one. So just pull it out like this. And this one is a little bit tricky. So you need to remove this connector. Uh, I just use my fingernail to pull out this cover. This can be pull out. So pull out and keep it somewhere safe. And then here, you need to use the flathead screwdriver to access from here, inside. You need to pry in here and then push out gently, yeah. So I have to pull it out. So yeah, be careful not to break the antenna behind it. So I just pull it out from here, yeah. So that's basically what we need to do from here. Oh, you also need to disconnect this plug, yeah, because it's together with this uh, little thing. So I just take out the wire. So take it out. So now it's set free. So I'll just stay here. So on the other side, we need to unplug this one. It's easy, just push down and pull out. And then this is the most difficult one to remove. It's just a, a wire holder. You need to uh, use a fair high screwdriver to squeeze from both sides and then take it out. So after I remove it, I can show you how it looks. But yeah, you need to, yeah. Now this side is like kind of loosened. So I just need to loosen this side. Yeah. So you can see it's squeezed by this one. You, you need to squeeze it and then take it out. Yeah, so this is basically it. So after you remove this two thing, so this two wire will be set free. So we can take out the whole thing. So you need to remove this clip. So I just pull it out and pull this out. Okay, so we have took out, uh, taken out, taken out the whole piece. So now we need to remove the speaker grill. Don't pull it from, from, from the tops. Here you can see. Let me loosen the adhesive a little bit. So you can, you need to like, uh, bend the, the holding piece here a little bit. There are more in here. Uh, let me let me let me try to take out something. Yeah. So once I've I've taken out enough, I can just take out from here. And then here I did not bend it, so I can just take it out by pulling it on this two tap. So this is how it is whole. Uh, I bend it down so I can take it out. So we need to cut a circular hole in here. To put the speaker so i normally cut a circle around here so around the edge 
Yeah, just leave a little bit of margin on each side. But yeah, this this hole should be big enough. Uh, it's a little bit hard to cut. Uh, uh, I usually take a cross here as well. Then I will eventually cut everything out. So let me show you after everything is cut out. Yeah. Okay, so uh, here we already installed one speaker. So we cut a hole like this. Remove anything underneath here. So then we place our speaker. So in placing it, uh, you will find that there's only one orientation that can fit the three corners. One, two, and there's one corner here. So after that, uh, just use uh, the screw we provided uh, with the washer. Just try to place it here. Here. And here. And then just use a screwdriver to, to screw it down to fix it. So now we are ready to put back the grill. So this one I just slide it in. Yeah. And then for the other, I just use a prior to try to push it in. So like here, it cannot align with the hole, so I just push it a little bit so it can go down. Push it. Push it, I just go to the back and I just set it back to lock it. Suspend it. Okay. Okay, all set. So now uh these are the two speakers. Um so uh let me see. This one is the right side, so I will have the wire ready. Uh, this one side is longer than the other. Yeah, so the longer one goes to the left side, and the shorter one goes to the right side. So there's only one orientation, which is like this, I guess. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, it's like this. So you can see uh, the corner can align with the speaker. So this one go like this. Yeah, this. So after that we can put it back. But before we we put it back, I suggest you to test the speaker a little bit first. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is our speaker wire. So we just run it along here uh, with the other other wire, uh, and this is our wire harness. So we just connect it here. So you can cut this out. Yeah, it's no use. So, and this one is the original OEM one. After we install the, uh, the piece, we can just plug it back here. So then you can test the wire before you install everything back. Uh, just make sure they are. They're good, the balance is right, then yeah, you can just set, uh, uh, install everything back together.